Hey everybody, this is Pickle. Um, show something a little different. Uh, this is a front end for DOSBox. It's called DBox FE. It's uh, primarily a Linux based one. I Basically now that we got a full blown GUI, we can use a front end. So I looked around and this was the, looked like the easiest one with decent features that could run on the Pandora. So I compiled the version as it was and found that the, the dialogues were a little bit too big and you don't want to have to drag the windows around like this. I can, uh, yeah. So you had to drag it around to get it to fit on the screen. So I put a little request out there for somebody that knew QT to make a Pandora friendly sized window. And thanks to D Flimster for whipping something up pretty quickly and it works pretty good. So pretty much this main window window has all your profiles and I'm gonna create a new one. Gotta make a name for it. There. So now I gotta set up what I'm gonna run. So SDL stuff. Uh, I'll leave full double. Pretty much all the stuff can stay the same. You always want to use surface. Let's check some other stuff out. Render. Yeah, normal 2x is fine. CPU. You want to use dynamic. Of course, if something doesn't work, you can always fall back to the regular cores. I'll leave it at auto. If we had a real old game that needed a precise cycles, you could set it in there. So, sound, not going to mess with this. All the defaults are fine. Miscellaneous. I set up a hard drive. I had an image that I, that's what I just deleted. I was trying to run Warcraft 2. It wasn't finding the disk, so try that later. All this stuff need, can stay the same. Uh, this part you point where your uh, DOS box is and you can see it detected it was 7.3 and don't really need to change any of this. Starting the key mapper might be uh, useful if you wanted to map something special or remap a button to do something specific. And there's the log if you wanted to debug something. You can see I've been running running some things. So I just save. And click start. And then it runs a DOS box at all of those settings that I just selected. This will come in real handy. You can set up profiles for different type of games, you know, real old ones that need slower settings um, where you might have a setting profile for faster games or maybe just a profile for a specific game. So I'm gonna run Warcraft in a second. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start Warcraft 1. One place where the touch screen is working. 
And like I said, the nub. Both nubs can do the mouse. This is all at 500 megahertz. I also have the left and right shoulders mounted as, uh, or mapped as left and right mouse buttons. So I can tell it's a little too sensitive. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one really fine movement and make the other one for large movements and also I might just make it so that uh, those parameters can be adjusted in the uh, comp file it looks like I lost my move okay. Sorry, my hand's in the way sometimes. A little easier with the touch screen. by nubs. There we go. I don't think he's gonna last. Nope. Of course he's gonna leave his buddy. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> 